Alright, first boat up is the Lure 13.5. Pretty sure these guys are brand new out of a iCast and outdoor retailer. Definitely say first impression, this is a extremely wide boat. But uh, paddling it so far, it's not all that slow, which is good. So, I think 36 inches wide. But uh, definitely has a nice glide to it. Kind of a little more difficult to get up to speed from a uh, dead stop, but a uh, 13 and a half foot and a 36 inch wide boat definitely wouldn't expect anything different. So first things first, I'm gonna pop the rudder back up, see how it does without that first. When I'm in the uh, the very lowest seat position on the uh, the gravity seat, uh, extremely comfortable. So. Let's uh, let's get a judgment on the speed first. Um, just right there, very easy to turn. So come to a dead stop. And let's see how she feels. So there we go. I think we're motion motionless now. Got my foot pegs all nice and adjusted. And again, I'm in a low seat position. So we get started. I guess that couple. Real hard strokes to get her moving, but now that we're moving, we got a pretty good glide going. And I am using a feathered paddle stroke, 60 degrees in my aquabound stingray, 240 centimeters. And even at 36 inches wide, this is a, you know, I'm not hitting the sides of the boat. I feel pretty comfortable. Watch out for this hobie here. And I'd say speed-wise right now, this is kind of as to be what expected. This is, a, this is a big, wide, long, and heavy boat. So I'm paddling with a pretty good stroke right now. And I don't feel like I'm going all that fast. How you doing? Alright. So I don't have a GPS to time myself, or see my speed, but... Just from my impression, I feel like I'm paddling pretty hard here, and I'm not going all that fast. But, feels like a fairly pretty good glide, so let's get a good couple of hard paddle strokes and see how she glides. Not too bad. The nose is definitely tracking the left now. Again, the rudder's not down, so whole design tracking. I'd say you got a little bit of room to improve there, but you know this is, I think, primarily a flats, calm water, stand-up fishing boat. So comfort right now, I would say this is probably one of the best seats I've ever sat in. And again, I'm in a low position, so let's go ahead and try it out and pick it up. So the guy told me all you got to do is sit up, raise the seat. There you go, one click. I'm up one notch. There I'm up two. And that's pretty good right there. Let's see if I can turn around and show you the seat. Yep, there it is. Up to the second setting. And I'll tell you, that is... This is one comfortable seat to sit in. Definitely like it. So, I myself have owned a uh, Jackson Cuda 14, and I now have a Slayer Propel 13. Both are known for their seats, and I'll tell you, wow, kind of wish I had this one on my boat. Pretty impressive. So, stability on this thing, being 36 inches wide, and before I started filming, I already stood up on it, so. It's pretty simple, so uh, stand assist strap isn't even on it. But I'll tell you, I got my feet at the widest position now, and I'm just going to stand up. And it's that simple. So, pretty amazing. But at 36 inches wide, I wouldn't expect anything less. And I'll tell you, I'm not the best at standing up, but right now, I feel absolutely rock solid stable, which is nice. And I'm leaning left and right. 
no instability. As you can see, water's just coming up through the scupper, so it's pretty good. So we'll go stand paddle around a little bit. And again, I'm, I'm still feeling rock solid stable, which is great. Alright, last thing to look at on this boat is fishability. So all the accessories that come from the manufacturer to make us fishermen more happy. Less rigging to do. So as you can see, we'll start at the bow. Got the nice uh, hatch. It's been pretty standard on the field freeze for a while now, I think, with the, uh, the three locks on it. This is the, uh, the noticeable big uh, difference here is the cooler hatch you got here and wow that's pretty cool so they've got the soft sided cooler in there you can see a nice o-ring gasket on there keep the, uh, the temperatures down and this, you got a transducer there it looks like it'd be used for a scupper plug so the guy from Creel Free just told me that you're gonna have a nice new uh, transducer console there a nice big uh, hole to put a uh, Get the big, uh, big time transducers in, so we'll look forward to seeing that come out. Uh, you got the rails, both sides of your legs there, which they use their Unitrack system. Got the, uh, this is the ruddered version, so you can see the cables with the tow control. Haven't dropped that down yet. Got the adjustable foot pegs, pretty much standard. Just lift, and they lock in place. Same. So pretty cool boat. I showed you guys the gravity seat. It's for you stand up for fishing. It's absolutely awesome. And behind us, got the rudder, a very large tank wall and some more rails. And two installed uh, flush mount rod holders. So let's go ahead and drop the rudder, see what that does. And we'll go jump in a new boat. So rudder's down, simple little cleat right here. I'm up in the number two position. I got the tow controls. Let's just go straight and put this thing into a turn and see how it acts. I'll tell you what, when we first started paddling this, that's the speed. I really didn't like the tracking on it. But right now with the rudder, I'll tell you that feels a lot better. Alright, so we got some speed here. Let's go ahead and do a full left turn. Oh yeah, lots of authority there. That's pretty nice. Alright, back right. Full right. Oh yeah, that moves this boat nice and easy. And straighten it out. Alright, so that's the Lure 13.5. First one tried here, ACK Demo Days for September 2014.